All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, um, well, my car is in the garage. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd do this because, um, well, winter's coming around and I gotta pull this swap out. That way I can take that out, that out, and clean all that up. And I um, also have to take that out too because when you take that out, you gotta take that out. So, um, so that's what we're gonna be working on uh, in the next couple months. So now I just figured I'd give you guys a little rundown as to why I put it in the garage. Um, number one, well, the car was getting um, water inside there. So this has to come out right here and I'm probably gonna take it somewhere because I tried once and failed. And you know, hey, I can just say I, I tried to do it and it didn't work out and I fixed it somewhat. So that's that. Um, but uh, as far as the engine bay, that's all I'm doing is just deleting some stuff. And I wanna try to get the car to weigh around like 24, 2500 pounds uh, before I start adding any carbon fiber. Um, I have to keep the doors and keep them all OEM, so I can't touch that. I can delete that. And this is just class restrictions. I can do a carbon fiber hood, but I don't wanna spend $600 on a hood uh, because that doesn't make too much sense. ABS, power steering, and uh, brake booster, and uh, that should be, what? About a hundred, maybe close to a hundred pounds. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure at all. But um, I'm gonna get the car weighed. I'm probably gonna take this car out of the garage and get it weighed somewhere. Um, not sure where, but somewhere at, at some weigh station because I want to know what we're making right now as far as weight, um, and then we'll just go from there and see how far we can shave it off. But the inside, I'm just gonna show you guys. Uh, what it looks like it looks pretty bad um, I took the carpet out and this is what it looks like um, this is uh, really bad and then it's pretty bad back there because um, well I mean I put tires back there jacks everything so that seat literally has one bolt in it and I took the car to the car wash yesterday so that's why the outside looks kind of nice um, but uh, yeah so I'm gonna throw carpet back in here because the old carpet got ruined um, I got my center console stuff over there um, but I'm gonna take this seat out. I'm not sure if I should, you know, spray all this up and, and stuff because it's just gonna have carpet over top of it. Probably just clean it out and just take all the little loose papers and stuff out of here. Uh, but back there, I mean, it's, it's pretty much, it's, it's gutted back here. And I mean, I might try and clean it up, but I mean, to be honest, <laughs> there's really no point. The roll bar, I took out the padding because it was starting to fade. Some cheap eBay padding, so I probably won't do that again. Um, that door panel is starting to, uh, is starting to, um, you know, fall apart, but I'm just gonna leave it in there anyway because I don't really care about it. Um, and then this radio kind of stopped working on me. Uh, <laughs> not sure how that happens, but, um, yeah. Um, also the shifter, every time I start the car, the shifter like makes this weird grinding noise or the actual dude. The uh, clutch makes a weird grinding noise on startup. It sounds like um, it's like grinding metal, which is really weird. I've never heard that before. I do want to start it up right now, but the garage door is closed and it's kind of laid out, so probably won't do that. And my guess is that the clutch is just mad rusty. I don't know if you guys can see that down there. Let me see if I can focus this right. So like right down there, that's like the pressure plate right there. So that little piece right there is the pressure plate. And um, it's completely rusted because I used to drive this car in the uh, in the rain, and I don't have a splash guard underneath. I don't have um, a clutch boot, so like water, I guess, was getting poured into the transmission case when I had the LS, and it, it pretty much got completely rusted. So um, yeah, that's that. It's pretty cool. Um, definitely going to need a new clutch to prevent that from happening because it doesn't sound good. Um, also. Uh, what else do I have to do here? Let's see. I have to change over my intake manifold. So we're gonna have to pull this swap out and just do a lot of work. That's pretty much it. Um, not too much else to say about what's going on. I'm still in the stages of just saving up my money and, and um, you know, just trying to figure out the best way to approach this. Um, I'm gonna probably rent a engine hoist because I really don't need, you know, a hoist just sitting in here. You know, there's not too much room. Um, it's it's not dirty in here, but like there's like stuff all right here that I, you know, so 
yeah, I don't have room is, is what I'm trying to say. Um, this is really all I have to work with. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm trying to think what else do I need to do to this car. Um, that's uh, pretty much it. So yeah, we're gonna figure something out. So yeah, that's all I got for right now. Um, I'm not sure when I'm gonna actually start modifying everything. Um, once I get a hoist, that's when I'll probably take this out because um, I mean, it, it has to come out anyway and I'd feel a lot better if it did. Um, so uh, yeah, that's the video. That This is your update video, I guess. Um, and I'll probably upload again in about a few days on some other stuff. So uh, stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next